to my channel my name is Tia Joy welcome and to all of my returners and subscribers how are you doing it's just, it's just so good to see you again thank you so today I have another dance movie review and that is flash dance now before we get to this review first what I need you to do is hit that subscribe button right down there and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell because I want you to be in the know when I upload a new video <laughs> so flash dance it was directed by Adrian Lynn, and it's about a girl named Alex who is played by Jennifer Beal. Y'all, did you know she was 18? I mean, this girl is straight up bomb. Like, you see her apartment and what she's living in? Like, her place is nice. That's, she did a good job for an 18-year-old. But I just really love Alex because she is not just, when her occupation or where she works in the daytime, it's not like, she's not a waitress. She's not working at a restaurant. She's not working at a coffee shop. No, nah, this girl is in the steel mill, okay? She's working with all the the men and I love that that's just straight up me like if I'm working I'm gonna work where it's hard like the hard work like give me something I can use my hands with okay and that's where she works she works in the steel mill but she's also a dancer at night which is great so I just did a little research on and just watch like the making of it because I want to know like how this thing came about as far as flash dance now there was a, a lady her name Linda Opst and there's also some other people who went to a to a club in Vancouver and these were flash dancers and basically what they are is they're not dancers who's trying to strip at a club no they're dancers who wants who just dances they want to dance because they want to make dance as a career and they have their own costumes they have their own music they put their own set together and that's what they do and that's what they call flash dancers so I thought that was really great and so they took the idea and they decided to make a movie on it so when you see it it's not girls dancing at a bar trying to you know strip and get money no they're just dancing because they love to dance and I just think that is so awesome to hear the little backstory of this movie so Alex she's the main character and she wants to become a dancer at a at a ballet company but she has this fear because as a dancer for her she didn't grow up in a studio she pretty much just mimic what she watches and she dances for herself self-taught and she dances at a club marby's bar but she has a mentor her name is hannah long who is played by lilia scala or scala <laughs> I'm saying that right and she did ballet in her former time but she pretty much adopted Alex and always took her to the ballet and Alex was always inspired by ballet dancers and that's what she really wants to become and so 
which she needs that push so Hannah keeps telling her like apply 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 she's like okay I will I will but she was a little bit fearful because of the people that she had to audition for because in her backstory when she especially when she goes in and felt the form they're like what's your former training who did you dance with and she doesn't have that so she was a little bit fearful like I don't know if they're going to accept me because I didn't do what a lot of the other dancers did but she gets some help by a her guy friend or her lover <laughs> eventually and his name is Nick who is played by Michael Nori. Now Nick not only is a guy that helps her but she actually works for him and she didn't know that and, and the guy he didn't know that either until he went and saw her at the club and like oh my gosh she's amazing and his friend next to him was like yo she works for you and he didn't even know. So he just loved her dancing and he really wanted to help her and that's great that he saw potential in her and wanted to help her fulfill that dream. But we also got some other characters in there besides just them two. We have Jeannie, who is played by Sunny Johnson, who is a skater. She's an ice skater, matter of fact. And she's a great ice skater. She has her dreams of becoming, going to the Olympics, and she works hard. There's moments she fell off, but she want to go back on. And she's trying to push towards her dream to become a skater. Then we have another guy named Richie, who is played by Kyle T. Hefner and he's a guy who works at the club but he's in the kitchen and he w makes burgers for the customers but he's also a comedian and he always cracking jokes and his dream is to become a comedian on stage and it was really cool to see him on stage trying out and people were like what is he doing then finally he's like yo i need a you know i'm trying to make this as a career and if you don't do this because i work in the kitchen i'm gonna put cockroaches in your food and then everyone just started breaking out laughing and that just helped break the ice it was really it's really cool about this movie because not only it's about Alex who wants to become a, a dancer but it also the whole idea that the director was trying to push towards is girl empowerment so you have a girl who's also who's trying to become a ballet dancer but also shows a scene of girls working out and getting strong then you see Alex who works in the steel mill and then also you see Alex who is in relationship with Nick and she's the aggressor he's not chasing her but she's the one that's really like aggressive towards him and doing specific things to you know snatch him up and he's just falling for it like he's just so like mesmerized by this girl like oh my gosh she's so amazing but that's what I know the that I know that director is trying to push in this movie which is really cool to see now I'm about to get in some of my favorite scenes in this movie I only have three because Three is only needed that's all you need so my first favorite scene is when Alex is dancing on stage so when she comes out she's very like robotic very sharp with her movements and then next you know she takes out her jacket and she just become this little sassy jazz mover and she starts moving around with the chair and then you got the famous water drop and just falls everywhere and gets all on the stage and then she starts dancing with her hair all wet all over the place and it's just fun to see her dance because she's just having a blast like it's nothing really competitive with her movements she's not trying to win a competition she's not trying to do specific choreography and be very detailed with it no she's just up there having the time of her life she's like spacing out and I know when in later in the movie she talks to Nick and about how dancing just causes her just to go off in another dimension go off into another world it's a place of escape and those who are dancers out there I'm pretty sure you can say the same thing and for me I love dance because it just gives me an opportunity to be around among other great amazing dancers and just seeing everyone speak the same language is amazing but for her it's just a way of escaping and getting out of the world of what she's used to and just being free so to see her on the stage doing this is just absolutely amazing she's just it's just so much it's just great to see so much joy in her now my second favorite scene is with Tina Tech who is played by Cynthia Rhodes. Now this girl, straight up fire. Like she came out like one, two, three, four. And this girl just went in. She's very, very 
like oh my I can't even say it she's very sharp and not just sharp but she's very aggressive she's very strong and confident in her movements she's she goes from like a flip to the front and a flip into a split and she does a split to the back it does a split to the front and then just crawls on the ground like this girl is just straight up like rah she's just 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 all up in this dance and she just very fierce that's what i'm trying to go for she's so fierce with her movements and it's just captivating and it's like she don't care who you are she's like a like a snake and it's like oh very slithery but she's just very like like I just, I just love her in this scene it's it makes me just want to just start being more for like more fearful with my movements and and she's like if i'm gonna do a leg extension you're gonna see this leg extension i'm gonna give you a, a look while i'm doing it too <laughs> like i just love to see her her makeup is is amazing her outfit is just amazing and she got glitter all over herself she's just this girl just pretty much owned this dance routine that she did and i just absolutely like it and then she just falls out and saying like oh it's over i'm done i did my part like it's like an animal she's dancing like an animal coming out of a cage who's just ready to devour whoever she sees and it's and if you get in her way she's probably just gonna attack you and that's pretty much how her dance is and i just love what she did now my last favorite scene is the audition scene and this for her she just really It was, it was very scary for her because it's like, oh my gosh, like that first step, like that, the first step is the hardest step when you're trying to really go after something you've always wanted. And at first she's like, okay, like, let me get myself together. She goes in there and she was all up in her head because, you know, as she first started, she started to mess up and she's like, hold on. Let me do it again and she finally took a breather again and she just eventually just got out of her head and just did the dang thing and she just exploded in this audition scene she put her all into it and it's like you know what i don't care if i didn't have training i don't care if i went to a school to take a bunch of classes this is me this is who i am and for her to just space out once again, go into her mind of escaping the world that she lives in and go into a place where she could be free. She did this in a, this in the audition scene. And at first the panel's like, oh my gosh, like she's different. But they really took it in because she just put her heart and soul, even the secretary, she was like, oh, wow. Like she was very excited because also she was different. She was new. And sometimes, this is the lesson and i'm just gonna go straight into the lesson that i've learned and I, but before that also to see her just bust out a different style it's like this girl went from a, a high jump busted out into some b-boy like what how are you supposed to sit there and do a, a spin like that like this girl went to a windmill to a spin like okay she was really busting out all the moves even though technically <laughs> that really wasn't her but the girl just went off but the lesson that I've learned is in this movie is yes she was fearful like she really had a dream and taking steps to your dreams is it's it's a hard it's a it's a process because you don't know what's gonna happen and you're afraid about what people think but the thing is when she finally stepped out of her box and did her thing once once she went for it the thing that we have to keep in mind is we just never know i'm pretty sure people on that panel probably went through those auditions a thousand like a thousand auditions and probably saw the same thing from the like different people but the same moves the same energy the same facials like the same technique but we, if we just really take the time to really go after it, and that's what I'm learning for myself. If I just take the time to go after what I really love, I, you, I just never know. And sometimes if we get to a place that we're confident in who we are, our uniqueness can draw people who to want us to to get gigs and get opportunities. But if we don't embrace our uniqueness, it's gonna cause us not to 
move forward and sometimes people are looking for something different and we have to be confident in who we are knowing that what we bring to the table could make a change and so her doing that I'm pretty sure she changed all the panel's minds because it's like she's different she's not like the other dance the thousand dancers who walked through that door to audition for this this company this building this 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 place so just to see that and she's very and you could tell she probably got it because she came out happy excited but i'm pretty sure she's not happy excited because she got the job and she got the opportunity to to be a part of the company but i'm pretty sure she is excited because it's like i did it and my mentor hannah will probably be so proud of me for finally doing what I what I've always wanted to do and chasing my dreams. That's all that I have for this movie review and that's what I've learned. I hope you loved this review. And if you haven't seen this movie, I highly encourage you to go and just watch it. It's it's a really uh, an inspiring movie, especially the different characters and what they have to say of their backstory. Before I leave, I think it's very very important that I do my dancers hall of fame so for this movie it's not a lot of there's dancers in there but it's not like a whole list of dancers which is fine but the fact that these these ladies that is in this movie and just to hear their hear see the story of a flash dancer which i never even knew in my opinion i never even knew existed i've heard of dancers who's in clubs and you know they're stripping but as far as flash dance i never heard of it so it's real so i just want to acknowledge the ladies who are in this movie and even the guys who played in this movie too who were the stunt doubles for her i'm going to put them in there as well also thank you to the choreographer of this movie who is jeffrey horniday or Harnaday. <laughs> good job Jeffrey you did a good job on this one if you like this video hit that like button and also subscribe all right become part of the fam and tell me talk let's have a conversation tell me about this movie did you like it have you seen it I want to know what's your favorite scenes it's, it's just important that we just discuss this because it's cool to hear I just want to hear everyone's opinion like everyone go and sees the movie but i want us to talk about it especially you dancers out there like let's have a conversation and also hit that bell so that way you'll be notified when i upload a new video and those videos are uploaded every tuesday and every thursday so i will see you on the next one thank you so much and don't forget to make good choices okay Love you guys. Bye.